good day guys and welcome to my youtube channel today on this channel i will be showing you guys how to make a gutter design on a building in archicad so after after designing your 3d and you want to add some little design to it this downspout is a good choice so in order to make to do this downspout you need to first create the gutter the gutter already has a tool this is the tool so there is gutter in there you just need to apply it then apply this downpipe so to do that let me remove this gutter and the downpipe so that i will show you how i did it let's go to the ground floor and you remove remove this and this Pass space okay now let's go to on 3d you can see i have removed them so let me also remove the gutter right here the gutter is above the concrete fissure i placed it above the concrete fissure so let me also remove it but it's not showing on the ground floor so let's go to our first story since that is where i placed the gutter so click on the first story okay look at it right here this okay now delete okay that's what that now go to our 3d okay you can see i have removed the gutter this is the gutter for this the gutter for this i have removed it so now let me show you the process of doing the dance part now click on this object too first of all we're going to make the gutter before the downpipe so to create this gutter just go to your make sure you're on the first story since that is where we want to place the gutter the gutter like like this right here so click on this object to click on the settings dialog then on the settings dialog click on accessory elements then scroll down you're going to see this gutter or you can just simply type gutter on this search bar this right here is going to be displayed on the screen so just click on this gutter okay now under this gutter set click on this gutter setting to modify the settings the first one right here is the shape of the gutter this is the, the u style shape gutter but i don't want to use this you can decide to use this this or this but for the sake of this design we'll be using this case style so click on the case style okay the hangers this this and this are the hangers all these right here are the hangers but i don't need any hangers to show to be shown on the 3d so i won't take this then the downspout hole which is this right here this hole at the bottom i don't also want it to be shown on the 3d i'll just connect the downpipe to the profile right here i don't want this hole to be shown so i'll also want take this then which are that this right here is the height why this is the width the slope guard this is the degree of the slope in an actual construction there's going to be a gentle a gentle slope but for the sake of archicad i don't think i need any slope so just leave it right like this this guard right here is the guard inside the profile if i tick if i take this guard now if i go to the 3d you're going to see some guard inside the profile but there's no need for me to to put any guard this end cap this end cap right here is for the left side why this is for the right side the end cap is this right here at the end you're going to see this because it is closed that is the end cap in case maybe uh, those water droppings are not going to overflow the profile so it stops right here and from this this um this downspout hole it comes out to the downpipe so this right here this end and this other end at the end cap so that's for that i think we are done with this Button setting now go to the model very important this model right is where you get to choose the model of the profile the model of this gutter the color of which you want the gutter to be you can decide since i've used it before so the model here is titanium white you can decide to also use this you can decide to use something like um ivory black let me search let me go to the um, ivory black where is it I can't find it. Ok, 
okay just you can just put any model of your choice you can put any any model of your choice but i'll be using this pink titanium white for mine you can decide to use something dark maybe a dark color uh, something of your choice but I'll, I'll be using titanium white okay then this preview and positioning okay this is very very essential in designing the dance part this is to here is where you get to indicate the offset to the gutter that is from the ground to where you want the gutter to be that is the offset now the offset from the ground to the gutter should be um from the first story let's put um let's put 400 400 it is three meters that is three thousand to the top level then after that top level which we get to uh, we, where we have the concrete fascia i think the concrete fascia the height of the concrete fascia is 400 so that's why i indicate 400 offsets from the first story to where the gutter would be i hope you understand okay, so from the first story to the profile is 400 but if you want to start from the ground level then you can just simply come here you can change it to ground floor then from the ground floor to the concrete fascia you cannot put 3400 since it is first floor here just simply put 400 so that's for that okay i think we are done with this settings right here so click on the okay now now just click click on the screen look at it you can see the you can see the gutter right here okay now i want to rotate this gutter so i will start from here i will start to place it here before i go this way so click on the gutter then Control e to rotate Control e and click on one side one load go this way then rotate to this other way now what i want you to know is that the rotating angle should be outside and not inside okay let me let me show you what i mean click on this end you can see it rotates in make sure this rotating angle starts from outside and rotates in because if you click from the inside okay let's click this other node it doesn't rotate outside it doesn't rotate outside instead it stretches and it doesn't rotate outside make sure that this part that stretches is inside and this part that rotates is outside so that's what that now after after this now just click ctrl d to drag ctrl d click on one end and drag it to where you want to place where you want to place the um, the gutter now, i think it's this position but if it is not here we can just simply we can simply just drag it again now yes this is how we want it to be now we want to rotate this way in order for us to rotate this way we need to have a slant angle here and inclined here now we need to like take this node to this part maybe an angle of 45 degree yes 45 you can see that those uh, lettering there it is indicating 45 degree so just click or simply type 45 degree in your keyboard and click enter and type enter okay so this for this now now click and type ctrl shift m on your keyboard ctrl shift m to rotate a copy after ctrl shift m click on this end take it to this other end and click you can see we have rotated it i have rotated it now this node click on the node and drag and click on the node and drag i think it, is, it should stop here okay yes very good now let's go to our trading you can see look at our gutter but i don't think the gutter is on the position where we want it to be i think it is above it is slightly above the concrete pressure but i want to take bring it down to the concrete pressure so just go to the first story or just go to the first story click on one side of the elevation let's click on this east elevation since we want to view it from this side so just click on this east elevation right click open with current view setting click okay now look at this is this is the Gutter. Click on the gutter. Just click on the gutter. Control D 
to drag it down. Okay, then drag it. Down on it. Okay. Now click on the other because there are two daughters. I did two daughters. So click on the other one, Ctrl D to drag it down also. So that water that comes from the roof is going to get to directly it will directly enter into this into the gutter. Now go to the 3D. Let's see what we do. Yeah, perfect. We have placed it on the right position. This is how it is going to look like. In a this is how it, this is how it's, in an actual construction, this this thing inside that is covering that is uh, segmenting this profiles is not going to be there. But for Aki card, you can simply or you can just simply remove the end cap. The end cap I told you about. Just you can just remove the end cap for the right for this profile, remove the end cap for the right. Why for this profile, remove the end cap for the left. And this right here, it's not going, you're not going to see this again. Okay, so I think that's what I don't know. Let's create our, our down pipe, this pipe right here. Let's let's do the pipe now. Go to the ground. Let's go to the ground level. Click on this ground level. Okay. Now this is the ground level. Now under this object tool, also click on this settings dialog. The settings dialog. Now scroll down. Under all this, you're going to see our um, scroll. Up. Okay, you can see it here. You can you, you can use this this dance part. You can use this this a complex and uh, got uh, a complex pipe. You can decide to use this. You can, but this is what I normally use, and I think this is what most people also use. So click on it. Click on it. Okay. From the ground, the offset from ground to. I don't know there shouldn't be any offset and I think the building is below I think the 600 is 600 below ground floor so let me put minus 300 I don't want it to touch the the bottom of the building just put minus 300 okay minus 300 then the height the height of Okay, let's, let's leave, leave that for now. Now let's go to our downspout settings. This is the shape of the, the, the pipe. You can decide to use this round, you can use this, you can use this, but I, I, use, I use corrugated. For all my designs, this is what I use. Just click on corrugated. This is the length, while this is the width. Okay. Okay. Now the model very important the model I also use titanium white since I use titanium white for the profile for the profile I also use titanium white for the pipe if you use black for the profile it's also use black for the pipe so titanium white okay then which are okay I think we're good to go we're good to go just click on okay now place it here look at it look at the the pipe now go to our trade there Let's view it from there. Okay, look at, look at it right here. Go back to the ground floor. Click on it. Then Control D on the keyboard to drag. Click on one end and drag it in and place it there. Now go back to our trim. Let's see. Okay, this is how it is. Now, so just go to the ground floor. Go to this elevation here, this south elevation, click on the south elevation, right click and open with current view setting because we want to view from this side. So open with current view setting. Okay, like this. Now this is this is the pipe. Click on the pipe. Click on it. This click on this right here. This node. Click on it and increase. Click on this right here. This stretch height. Click on it and stretch the height. Stretch. 
just click on it and stretch upwards okay and stretch it to this position it's, it's okay here just click okay now we want to also stretch this so that it will, it will come to the right side we want to stretch this click on this node click on this node and click on this this right here this move node click on it and stretch stretch it this way and click okay so this right here you cannot i don't you can't actually you can't increase the height by clicking here i don't think you can click on this stretch and increase you know you, you can't because if you try to increase it this inclined uh, pipe is going to move along with it so in order to do that just click on the settings dialog the settings dialog this right here this is where you get to increase the height of this pipe this right here which is this so just simply you can turn it to 2 okay let's use 220 220 click ok you can see you can see 220 so let's use let's increase it a little bit let's use 250 so 250 click ok now that's all that now click on this node then drag it up place it there yes you can see now let's go let's go to our tree there and see what we did you can see perfect very good this, this is how to make a dance part design now in order to distribute this dance part around the perimeter of the building just simply control shift down your keyboard click on it then click control shift down your keyboard to drag a copy and distribute click on it control shift D click on one side take it to this other end right here and place it there and go back to the 3d you can see this is how to distribute it around the building for these places that are above for this part of the building that are above this other place these other places just ctrl shift d place it here and increase the height of the pipe so i hope you will understand everything i did right there so this is how to make a dance part design on the building akika so please 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 if this video has been of help to you please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel you can see i'm just starting this channel so i'm still building it up so please be of help by subscribing to this channel thank you and have a nice day